and welcome to our fourth lesson on algebraic fractions. In today's lesson, we're going to divide the algebraic fractions, but before we do that, we need to remember how to multiply with length. So we have x over y multiplied by 4 over x squared. We're going to look for a common factor in the numerator of one fraction and the denominator of the other. And you can see that x will go into both. So x divided by x will make 1, and that is over y, multiplied by 4, and x squared divided by x is x, and that will make 4 over x, y, with this one. Do you want to try matching these three? By pausing the video, and you can unpause it when you're ready to continue. Before we cross simplify, we're going to factorise this numerator. So we're going to factorise the numerator. We have two lots of x plus 3 over y squared multiplied by y over x plus 3. We can cross simplify here and here. So we have 2 over multiplied by, and that becomes 1 because we're dividing it by itself. And we can simplify here and here by dividing both by y. So we have 2 over y, y squared divided by y. And y divided by y is 1, so we have 2 over y. So product B would match with this one here. For question C, we're going to factorise each expression. So we have x lots of x plus 3 over y plus 1 lots of y plus 2 multiplied by y plus 2 over x plus 3. And you can see we can simplify here and here and y plus 2 and y plus 2. So we're left with x over y plus 1. So product C matches with this one here. Yeah. And finally, for question D, we can factorise y squared minus 1 using the difference of two squares. We can factorise x squared plus 8x plus 16, which is x plus 4, lots of x plus 4. And this is multiplied by x plus 4 over y plus 1. You can see we can cross simplify the x plus 4 and we can cross simplify the y plus 1. So we have y minus 1 over x plus 4. So this would match here. Okay, let's carry on with the main part of the lesson where we're going to divide with algebraic fractions. But before we begin, let's remember how to divide with numerical fractions. So we have two thirds divided by 5, 6. Well, to do this, we're going to do the opposite of divide, which is times. So 2 thirds times, and because we've done the opposite of 1, we have to do the opposite of the other, because then we'll go back to normal. So we're going to do the inverse of 5 over 6, which is its reciprocal, 6 over 5. And we can cross simplify the 3 and the 6. So we have 2 over we divide both by 3, 2 over 1 multiplied by 2 over 5, and that will make 4 fifths. So we're going to do the same thing with question A. We have 6w over v squared divided by w over 3v squared. First thing we're going to do is change the divide to a times. So 6w over v squared multiplied by and then we do the reciprocal of the inverse of w over 3v squared. So basically we flip it upside down. And now we can cross simplify. The w's here. And v, v squares here. So we have 6 over 1 multiplied by 3 over 1. And that makes 18. For question B, 
we have 4x over 3y squared divided by 2x over 2y cubed. So we'll do the opposite of divide, which is times. And then we'll do the reciprocal of this fraction, which is flipping it upside down. And now we can cross simplify here and here by dividing both by the common factor of 2x. And we can simplify here and here by dividing both by the common factor of y squared. So we have 4x divided by 2x, which is 2. 3y squared divided by y squared, which is 3. 2y cubed divided by y squared, which is 2y. And 2x divided by 2x, which is 1. And that will make 2 times 2y, which is 4y, over 3 times 1, which is 3. Do you want to try question C? By pausing the video and unpause it when you're ready. Okay, so we can change the divide to a times. So we have x minus 2 over 3x plus 2 multiplied by, and we work out the reciprocal of this, which is flipping it upside down. You can see we can cross simplify here and here. There is no common factor of 3x squared and 3x plus 2. So we have, so these two will cancel. So we're left with 1 over 3x plus 2 multiplied by 3x squared over 1. So we have 3x squared over 3x plus 2. If you want to try question D and then unpause the video when you're ready. Okay, so for question D, we're going to factorise the numerator and denominator. So we have x minus 1, lots of x minus 3, over y plus 1 and y plus 4. And that is going to be multiplied, because we do the opposite of a divide, the reciprocal of the other fraction, which is y plus 4 over x minus 3. You can see that this term will simplify with this term, and this term will cancel with this term. So we're left with x minus 1 over y plus 1. So do you want to try these questions by pausing the video? And you can unpause it when you're ready. Okay, so for question A, we are going to change the divide to a times and find the reciprocal of this fraction, which is 6y over 9xy squared. We can simplify this, these two terms, by dividing both by 3. And we can simplify these two terms by dividing both by xy. So we have 2 over x multiplied by 2y over 9y. So we have 4y over 9xy. And we can also simplify this fraction by dividing the numerator and denominator by y. So we have 4 over 9x. And for question b, we're going to factorize this numerator. So we have x lots of x plus 1 over 12x. We'll change the divide to a times and we'll find the reciprocal of this fraction, which is flipped upside down. You can see we can simplify this numerator and this denominator by dividing both by x plus 1. And we can simplify this term and this term by dividing both by x. So we have x over 12 multiplied by 4x over 1. x times 4x is 4x squared over 12. And we can simplify this by dividing both by 4. So we have x squared 
over 3. Okay, do you want to try question C and question D? And we'll go through that when you're ready. We're going to factorise this denominator and this denominator. So we have x minus 2 over x plus 5 and x plus 1. We'll change this divide to a times. And then we'll find the reciprocal of the other fraction. To factorise this term, we have x minus 2, lots of x minus 2. We can cross simplify with the x plus 5 and the x plus 5, so they will cancel. And we can cross simplify with the x minus 2 and this x minus 2. So we're left with 1 over x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 2. So our first numerator is a difference of two squares. So we have y plus 3 and y minus 3 over y plus 1 and y plus 2 multiplied by, because we can change that to a times, we work out the reciprocal of this fraction, which is going to be y plus 7 and y plus 1 over y plus 3 lots of y plus 3. You can see we can cross simplify here and here and here and here. So we have y minus 3 lots of y plus 7 over y plus 2 and y plus 3. You could expand them to their general form but that's perfectly fine. Okay, let's move on to our final challenge question. So we're going to prove that 5 minus x plus 3 divided by x squared minus 9 over x plus 4 can be written in this form. Okay, so we're going to have 5 minus x plus 3 divided by, and we'll factorise the x squared minus 9 using the difference of two squares. And then we can change the divide to a times. We have 5 minus x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 4 over x plus 3, lots of x minus 3. I'm going to write this x plus 3 as a fraction. So you can see it will cross simplify here and here. So then we have 5 minus x plus 4 over x minus 3. And now I need to, with two fractions of different denominators, so I need to make this the same denominator as this, which means I'm going to multiply the numerator and denominator with x minus 3. So essentially I've just multiplied it by 1, and that is minus x plus 4 over x minus 3. So I've got 5x minus 15, expanding them brackets out over x minus 3 minus x plus 4 over the same denominator. So then I've got, I'm going to multiply out this bracket with a negative. So 5x minus 15 minus 3x minus the 4 all over x minus 3. 5x take away the x is 4x. The negative 15 take away the negative 4 is negative 19 all over x minus 3. So a is going to be the 4, b is negative 19, and c is negative 3. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. Next lesson will be our fifth lesson on this topic, and we will be solving equations with algebraic fractions. Thanks again and take care.